Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Summer Fun Series of the Better Satellite World, a podcast of space and satellite professionals international. I'm Lou Zaccarella. Well, today we're going to go to Europe, a continent famously known for knowing how to enjoy the summer months. Uh, surprisingly, we found someone at work. Of course, it's an SSPI person, the head of SSPI's dynamic and relatively young Luxembourg chapter, Kirsten Roost. We're looking forward to touching base with her and finding out what's going on there. But before we hear from her, this series and our Better Satellite World podcasts are supported by our corporate patron members. They are Echo Star Hughes, Northrop Grumman, Access Intelligence, and the law firm of KNL Gates. The SSPI podcasts are also supported by the 3,000 members of Space and Satellite Professionals International and our chapters like the Luxembourg chapter around the globe. Well, Kirsten Roos is, as I said, the head of SSPI's Luxembourg chapter. Oh, and you know, in her day job, she's also the director of global strategic partnerships at ST Engineering Direct. I should add that she was recently named to be the co-chair of the networking and swag working group with our SSPI Wise uh, affinity group. She brings an infectious enthusiasm to the chapter, her job and our industry, and I am just delighted that she was able to show up today and I get a chance to know her a little and to learn what she does for summer fun. Good afternoon, Kirsten. Well, and good morning to you, Luis, and everyone listening to all of our industry friends around the world to this uh, podcast. It's an honor to be with you today, Luis. Well, it's it's great to have you here and, and you look so fresh and, and colorful and bright. Now, um, before we get into our fun subject, I know that um, in Europe, there's been some flooding. Um, there has been obviously COVID. How are, how are things going now? Well, indeed, um, there uh, was flooding the last uh, four days and actually this region, so that's a Mosul region, also known as a wine region, that's probably uh, why I'm looking so fresh, uh, Louis, but indeed it is a serious situation here. The last days, uh, they're not fun for some of our industry friends as well. Mm -hmm. As you know, we're having here some uh, great companies in the region and friends of us. And um, uh, especially not when you see that uh, streams or rivers coming over their borders and some Something that was small is now really like almost a big um, strong ocean taking everything away that is in the way and um, that is really terrible. Um, some lost their houses and apparently also several lost their lives. Um, we are around uh, 60 now. I hope that this number is not growing further. And um, for this region, uh, was very dramatic to see because it just came out of nowhere. It was two days of heavy rain. And um, yeah, there you see, right? Um, nature yeah. can be just taking it away. And um, that is good to also think of probably protection at the right time. Yeah. And, you know, we actually, we're going to be doing a series on climate change a little bit later mm -hmm. in the year. So uh, we have these things in our mind. So, so you know, it, again, this is a summer fun series and um, we want to talk about what people do to relax. But emotionally, you know, understanding that you're going to carry this into the summer because it is such a, uh, a horrific event. But um, how, how are you planning? Will this alter your summer plans or are you going to try to get away and relax? Well, actually, Louis, it's the right bridge, right? So or coming, combining the flood with also friends, right? So I called yesterday mm. up a friend that's living directly next to the Mosul and she's planning a, a party, big birthday party with 100 guests. And I asked her, hey, how are you? Because I know your house is just 50 meters next to the Mosul River. And she said, no, all fine, you're right. I'm just uh, decorating and so on. Well, <laughs> you're taking it the right way, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, we are living here in a very nice region. That's uh, the Mosul wine region. So obviously yeah. we have a lot of vineyards and uh, a lot of great wine. People are usually only hear about the uh, wine in Spain, as we heard earlier, Alvaro uh, sharing, but uh, also there's wine in France, but there's also wine here in that region. That's Luxembourg, uh, the border to Germany. Germany, and you can have them all, the white and the red wine. And this is mm. what people love to enjoy in the evening, right? Sitting outside in their gardens yeah. on the terrace, um, looking to beautiful sunsets, going for a walk, uh, going for a hike. And this is also what I will do over the weekends. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so 
again, you're right. You know, when we think of wines here, obviously we have our own wines in Long Island, which are, are very good, but we think of French wines. I think of Italian wines, of course, um, Spanish wines, but tell us what, so what's your favorite Luxembourg wine? What is, what is a wine that you'll be drinking? Well, and the answer to that is it depends on uh, what time of the day it is or probably what a day oh. in the week it is, isn't it? Right. So you and, drink uh, around the clock. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there is, uh, of course, um, the more heavier dessert wines and there's also the refreshing ones that you would use with some water, right? Or when you are on a hike, you use different ones. Also, when you celebrate, you use uh, some kind of uh, sparkling uh, wines and uh, there are a lot of different flavors flavors and um um, and that also depends on the mood you are, right? And uh, mm. then probably also the size of the glass matters. <laughs> but there are different ways uh, how you can also enjoy that. And, and uh, mm. there are different choices, I would say. So it depends. Yeah. Yours, it depends. But I, yeah, I have to say, knowing your personality and, and your dynamism, I'm going to say you're a sparkling wine person. I would probably start with a sparkling wine for a nice um, or a Sunday um, brunch. And then I would continue having the red for the steak and mm. would probably end the day with a very cold, more sweeter dessert wine. Very nice. Huh. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to my vacation now that you say that. Um, so when is it over, Luis? Well, as soon as, as soon as I can, actually. Um, as soon as this COVID thing ends, I'm, I'm on my way over there. I, that really sounds delightful. And uh, it, it's looking good, right? On that note, um, you see that uh, more vaccine uh, is uh, available and uh, also yeah. uh, people find ways and probably uh, sooner or later, uh, there are different um, uh, standards in place. Probably the world is looking a little bit different. But I would give it probably two, three years um, that things come to more normal ways of doing. Mm. And uh, probably the industry might look like different, uh, also different demands that are there. Um, still, I believe um, we are returning back, right? Look at um, satellite soon. Uh, and a B to follow. So they are first industry events um, being in person than there. You think two or three years, though? Uh, you, you think yeah, I think take... two or three years, yes. Why do I think to, um, not uh, immediately after some months? Because there are still countries um, that recently had lockdowns. There are travel bans in place. Um, also, we know that uh, probably uh, budgets linked to travel, uh, they are mm. looked at and are now coming from a zero that always needs some time. Um, still, I see um, great opportunities for our industry because oh, yeah, um, yeah. when you just think of uh, um, you, yourself sitting in a plane by now being um, stuck in your office, you have always on connectivity, hopefully. Uh, I know that for some, this is not the case, but let's just guess that. So the moment you would then travel, um, you still want to be connected. So um, pressure would be higher on SLAs. You want to have um, uh, probably the same benefits, the same quality of service to experience. And so that is great for our industry. Why? Because we are the right people to provide that connectivity yeah. and being it on a plane or on cruise. So it's really great to see that um, uh, these weeks were the first ones starting um, uh, to be on a cruise and we will see the next weeks some uh, celebration moments. So this is really great to see, especially with our partners. And um, yeah, right. We are all in that ecosystem together. We are all in this together. Yeah. So we, yeah. we have to come through these times. Yeah, and and fortunately, you know, we're the industry that provides a lot of the connectivity that are keeping exactly. uh, people working and 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 home drinking wine. So while they work, so that, <laughs> that's that's a good thing. Now, yeah, you, know, you know, there's this stereotype: Americans tend to overwork, as you know. Um, Canadians, pretty much the same way, not quite as bad. But there's always this stereotype that that Europeans just take a whole summer off and and relax and do nothing. And, and they almost say it like it's a criticism in America. And I can never understand that. I mean, being of Italian ancestry, it, here, it sounds right? wonderful to me. How, how is it really, though, for you? What what really takes place? Well, you know, we are uh, uh, almost end of July. Um, sun is shining, right? Almost uh, blue sky. Uh, I'm sitting in the heart of Europe and I'm not at the beach somewhere. So here comes your cliche. <laughs> and, so uh, and it's uh, right now this recording is on a, on, a, on a Friday, right? And it's almost uh, five 
5 p.m. here. So are there again the cliche? Um, so right, it depends also on the people. And um, it's actually right. interesting that you're bringing this up. I was recently reading a book about um, uh, different values, uh, culture, um, or countries are bringing apart and 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 having. And uh, I think what if we um, try to see the positive sides, every country or culture bringing this is where we can uh, winning unmatched and unmatched teams or or ecosystems and and so right take uh, the great wine from the regions takes uh, the the inspiration or the joy of life from the other region and take the uh, positiveness from the other this is probably the mix you want to have instead of uh, instead of the the focus on the negative parts yeah, yeah absolutely and it's good for your mental health there the balance in life is is important you know it's interesting uh, kirsten we did we've done podcasts with uh, an author and scholar uh alex pang and also celeste headley uh from national public radio and they, they've both written books about uh, studies these are studies that they are, have referred to about the virtues of relaxing and its impact uh, positive impact on work and they're suggesting you even work fewer hours because the type of work that we do, and we do similar work, is so uh, intensive on the brain that you can you can literally wear that muscle out. And so Absolutely. there's this whole new theory about that. So so you guys are probably a, ahead of the of the curve, so to speak, in terms of understanding. Well, uh, that's a reason productivity. Why, uh, huh? yeah. People in the uh, uh, Scandinavian region are very happy, right? They work less. They have really these off times, and I think uh, personally it helps me also to go for some sports, right? So I love hiking. I love to run through the vineyards. Uh, uh, I will uh, try. Uh, actually, in uh, three hours, I have my first uh, tennis um, oh. lesson I will take. Uh, I just got inspired. On my last uh, hike last weekend, I saw a nice tennis court. There, said, this is so beautiful. Imagine standing here testing this, and it was anyway on my radar for a little bit longer. So diving is the other one. So thinking about Fortis uh, sports arts, but coming on that uh, or to that later, I want to tell you a little bit more what I will do the next weeks for summer holidays, because I will go on summer holidays. Ah, very good. And you can play tennis. You can learn how to play tennis. If you're thinking about diving, you hike. So that, that sounds pretty good to me. Be careful uh, with the diving part. But um, tennis, tennis is a great game. Um, and, you know, we're, we're always you always make us happy. And, and I mean that sincerely. I mean, look at you. You're just so, you're colorful today. You're bright. Uh, and I know you've been working hard. And I know you're going through a hard time uh, this week uh, because of everything. But you always bring a, a, a great energy. Um, and I know. Well, you have to, right? Just, um, you, you, you have to. You really have to. And I, I hate to interrupt you because this is not no, light okay. and doesn't make people happy. But um, the thing is, um, it doesn't help you to be uh, driven by a negativity. You need to see the uh, upsides. You need to um, uh, work with that and you need to drive on that. And um, uh, the other one will just uh, stuck you. And you need to have inspiration uh, paired probably with innovation to be creative. And this is what our industry needs also right now right look at Absolutely. all these uh, what happened last weekend right we have space tourism now driven with so excitement so these are the guys helping us to shine a light on our industry these yeah. are the guys that um, uh, bring interesting minds to our industry these are the ones we need um, uh, I mean everyone is using connectivity lines somehow in between their satellite is um, but uh, people don't know about it now um, uh, space uh, satellite industry becoming more sexy gets really almost mainstream and yeah, uh, yeah. this is what we have here and this is driven by ideas inspiration and a lot of positiveness and enthusiasm exactly and enthusiasm um last question before i before i let you go and get ready for your tennis lesson um <laughs> you've, you've got your sneakers and everything right you're all set of course, yeah. Of course. Yeah, okay you're good okay um is the sspi luxembourg chapter now i know that part of your work, your mental work this summer, we'll be planning uh, next next season. What can we look forward to? What should people know if they want to be a part of the Luxembourg chapter or contact you uh, about yeah. that? 
Well, first of all, Luxembourg chapter is not just myself, right? Uh, they are also a great uh, other industry friends here in yeah. the region and uh, also several that are with um, my company and Broken Forest Engineering I direct. And uh, yeah, there is a lot we have planned. Actually, uh, just during lunch break, we had a board meeting again where we lined up on something we will execute in uh, yeah, end of August. And uh, we also mid of this week had in interesting discussions with another chapter in Europe that is supposed to become another chapter in Europe, also around new space. Um, so mm -hmm. more to unveil soon and to find uh, more information the next week is on LinkedIn. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, if you want to join us, um, uh, you not need to bring a lot, right? It's the uh, passion, as you probably heard now the last minutes about the industry. Um, there are a lot of uh, like-minded people out there. We uh, meet to share ideas, we meet um, to talk about future ideas. We are also there to have just some fun in the region. Uh, today, um, we are still more in online mode to try to go hybrid and um, thinking of creative ideas to do that. And um, yeah, I mean, there is, it's just great, right? That's what we love. We love to sit oh, yeah. still in the evening uh, with a glass of uh, wine or beer um, and uh, talk about our industry, right? Share, um, get help, get support. Um, and uh, you would be surprised, Louis, but I, I guess you know that. Um, probably some of the listeners here, um, you would be surprised, right? How many great ideas are just uh, created on a napkin uh, or on, on, on a small sheet of paper while enjoying some nice drinks in the evenings and also the support you're getting, right? This is just That's amazing. Right. I just said earlier this morning a call with somebody from ESA and um, uh, where she um, talked at one of our SSPI um, chapter events. And um, she just made a reference to that, right? Thinking about the future and standards and where they work together. That was also as part of an SSPI event. So this is what, what we are for, Louis. That's what, what you work also hard for uh, and others uh, in the industry. Yeah, well, I, I don't work as hard as you, but uh, we, we do the best ah, we can <laughs> to support you guys. Um, and you. yeah, and, and as you say, the networking is, is important and it's sort of a natural occurrence uh, of being a part of the chapter. The wine and the beer, I'm glad to hear that. I'm not surprised. And to your point about ideas, you know, like we were saying earlier, there's a balance there. When you're relaxed, when you're in the shower, right, that old cliche, you come up with your best ideas. So we're all about ideas in this uh, in this industry. So you're, you're feeding them. Um, well, listen, Kirsten, uh, again, I'm going to let you go. I wish I could keep talking to you, but it's, it's great to see you. And I, I hope we can see you uh, in person uh, in 2021 or 2022 at the latest. We will, Luis. Thanks for that uh, opportunity. And uh, when you are in the region and any other industry uh, friend listening to this right now, let us know, right? Join some of the SSPI regional chapter events and um, or just connect by any social media, right? We, we are there. It's all about, as you say, uh, ideas and the people, right? The people are driving our industry. And um, if you once understood that, um, almost everything is open. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you, Kirsten. And, um, you know, enjoy the rest of your summer. Great, great pleasure. Thank you very much having me. Yes. Well, that concludes my visit with Kirsten Roost of ST Engineering iDirect and the driving force behind SSPI's Luxembourg chapter. Many thanks to our corporate sponsors, UTELSAT, Echo Star Hughes, Periton, and Access Intelligence for their financial support for the series. Uh, you can learn more about this and the Better Satellite World series at bettersatelliteworld.com. Reminder, don't forget to send in your nomination for our Better Satellite World Awards and dinner. The deadline for nominations is September 14th. If you would like to become a member of SSPI and meet fantastic people like Kirsten, go to sspi.org. Memberships are US $100 per year. If you're a student, your membership is free, as in free. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at SSPI and check us out on LinkedIn and Facebook. For Space and Satellite Professionals International, Kirsten Roost, and our producer, Ana Gomez, I'm Lou Zaccarella. Let's make it a better satellite world this summer. Take care, everybody. <laughs>